<laughs> Thanks for checking out this video. I'm JB, the Five String Fairy, and this is an EDC video. Okay, EDC stands for Everyday Carry. It's a collection of the things you tend to keep on your person as you go through your day-to-day -day life. I love watching these videos. It's interesting to me to see the things people carry on them. Sometimes people carry a lot of crazy things. Sometimes people carry things that are kind of interesting and, and kind of keep me in, a, in the idea. I do want to specify that there is a difference between just your basic EDC and then like the prepper's EDC. And when I say prepper, I mean the emergency preparedness, trying to survive in the wilderness, get home bags, that sort of thing. This is not that. Uh, first thing I talk about is the cell phone. Everybody tends to have a cell phone. Um, mine currently at the moment is the iPhone mini 13. Um, I am an Android guy. I really like a lot of the features that you get on the Android. The reason I switched to this iPhone 13 is basically iMessage. I guess I needed to have that blue uh, bubble and not the green. So iPhone 13 mini. To go along with that, AirPod, uh, AirPod 3, Gen 3. And probably one of the few people where the the regular uh, AirPod ear tips just work just fine for me. So I don't need that the, the inserts. I also don't, I also like that they're kind of open. So if I don't play my music too loud, I can hear clearly what's going on around me. And I really do like that. Wallet. Um, this is your basic, uh, tr what is it, Travelumbo? Travelum Travelambo wallet. It is small, it's slim. I can keep a few cards, I can keep a little cash, I keep my IDs in here. Uh, what else? I'll keep uh, some, some of the basic, uh, you know, medical information cards, those sort of things. Um, and it's small, it fits in the front pocket. I guess it might have RFID. I'm not really concerned about that, um, but that kind of goes with me. Um, it's, I've had it for years. You can see it's kind of beat up and worn. I, I think it's perfect. Um, so the Travel Ambo wallet. Uh, next thing, flashlight. I tend to carry this small Olight S1R baton. This is like the Gen 1 model. I think there are a couple generations ahead now. Um, where you can get this. It's small, it has a super bright mode, it does the flashy thing, but for the most part, um, at night, I'll use the, the night light, the, the moonlight mode, which is uses like five watts, because you know, um, it's great for like camping and things like that. It's small, fits in the pocket, has the magnetic tail cap, like that. Always need a flashlight every once in a while. Bullet space pen. Let's see, sometimes you always need to write, and then especially like these days, I kind of like having this as opposed to using the public pens. Um, you write upside down with them everywhere. I have a couple of these just kind of scattered throughout what I have. So the bullet Fisher, bullet space pen, a notebook. Now this is like one of those filled note sized notebooks. Um, it's from a company called All Terrain. Come three in a pack, just like your filled notes. What I like about it though, is this kind of cover. It's kind of a plasticky thing that's going on there. And so what I would have a problem with the field notes is that the covers would eventually wear out and I'd just have the paper without the cover. But this one, it seems very rugged. Also, I do the dotted matrix, which I like, so I can kind of be more creative in what I'm writing there. Um, so that I keep right along with that pen. Goes in the pocket, it's very flexible, very durable, and that's, that's always a good thing. Ah, this lighter. Now, when I used to smoke cigarettes, uh, my friend would make fun of me and said, hey, you need a better lighter to uh, at least be classy, even though you should quit smoking. Well, I did quit smoking, but I did not quit carrying this lighter. And this one kind of has the sentimental value um, because he has it engraved with the BMF, which uh, if, you, if you know the reference there, uh, those aren't my initials, but um, if you ever watch Pulp Fiction, there's a moment where uh, they're reaching into a, a satchel. He says, reach into the bag, get my wallet. It's the one that says, and <laughs> that's what that BMS says for. So this is just kind of a cool little reference there. I do not have the standard Zippo insert. I have that uh, Thunderbird butane insert. So then this doesn't evaporate like the Zippo is used to. And uh, it came in handy a lot when I was doing uh, paracord projects, so I always had something to light things up. Um, 
don't do as much as that, but I still have it in handy in case we're at a birthday party and need to light candles. Carry a pocket knife. Um, carry this, uh, this, this uh, Benjamin Mini Barrage. Um, I have had lots and lots of pocket knives over the years. Um, I have a whole collection. I could probably just do a whole video on just pocket knives and the, the ones that I have. In fact, I might do that just to kind of go through the journey I've had with them. I'm not using it necessarily every day, but I tend to reach for it more often than I don't, and so I like to keep it on me. And that is the core of this watch. It's one of many, one of, uh, well, not many, uh, Citizen Watch. This is something that I carry around because this one actually stands out because my wife got it for me, so it's kind of special. Um, Citizen Watch, I like the black band. I've liked Citizen for a while. They're kind of the, the entry level luxury brand, if you wanna, if you wanna call that. Um, like I say, this one, this one is special because the missus got it for me. Um, I like the black, and I think I kind of have a theme going on, so we'll cover, we'll call that there. Other things, my wedding band. Um, this one, for, for a while, my wife and I both had the exact same wedding band. I got her a nicer one. She still has the other one, but it looked exactly like this. Mine said, get on the chopper. Hers said, get on the ramp. And that's kind of an in, on the inside. There's kind of a, a, a reference to Left for Dead 2. We were playing there's a stage where you're supposed to get away from the zombies by getting onto a helicopter on top of a hospital and we were playing together and it's just one of those moments where you know you're in the intensity of it and that was just something that we kept screaming at each other as we're trying to exit this game because we're both stubborn and stubbornly defending each other even in video games this is more of a recent uh carry this ring was my father's and it was in one of the, i guess i'm calling it my inheritance What's cool about it is that it's got this little reversible piece where it says dad one way and then it's just more of a bling ring. Wear that on my pinky. Um, definitely a sentimental carry. I uh, like it. Don't raise the money. This one is just kind of a just kind of a little fun little $10-$20 ring I got off of Amazon. It's actually a spinner. You can kind of rotate around and it ends up being more of a fidget toy. Uh, kind of goes with the motif. Um, I wear it on my uh, first finger. It has no other function than maybe just being a fidget spinner, but I like that. It's also another piece that I got from my dad's collection of jewelry. This, see if we can get that to show up there. This bracelet, black and white. It's got the crosses on there, uh, black and, and silver. Definitely something that I thought was very cool. Kind of, I guess it's mine now. I should stop saying it was my dad's. It was, it's, it's mine now. My inheritance. Uh, so I like to keep that there, just to kind of go with, with the jewelry that I'm going to be wearing all the time. And then this band, which I'm not going to take off. This just black band I got off the internet. Um, the reason for it was basically that uh, it was supposed to be a sim uh, uh, symbolize. Uh, mental health for men kind of a thing that, that people overlook is a lot of times men will take on a lot of uh, the challenges of, of life and often won't talk about that kind of stuff because it's uh, taboo for men to show emotion so kind of get that to kind of show solidarity um, and I, I kind of keep that on it's, it's basically paracord with one of these you uh, you connectors like it probably make it but hey, there it is. Um, so yeah, that's my everyday carry. What you're gonna find on me um, at the bare minimum. Uh, that's it. Thanks for checking out this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I hope you enjoyed the music that's playing in the background. That's kind of a start of a new track. So we're gonna get back to the music going on here. Uh, thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.